because we're in Mexico City, so we have to do a taco tour. And we're here with Yubish, so he's going to take us to eat some of the best tacos around here. So we're going to do the night taco tour, even that it's a little bit early, but don't worry, it's all the same spots. Never too early for tacos. Yes! <laughs> This place is called Tacos Martin. Chema here, who is the taco master, uh, he has had this stand since 30 years. Actually, he was an illegal immigrant in the US. He was in the central part of the town. Downtown. downtown. Where is the stadium and all of that? It's getting better now. It's getting better now. This seems to be all very ugly. <laughs> anyway, I like a lot this place because the tacos are great, but also he's a great guy. He's super funny and he loves his job. Yeah, that's great energy. This is, is the chorizo. Chorizo. So it's already pretty spicy, so we're we're not adding anything on, except for a Dude, we're jumping straight into it. Holy crap. This is beautiful. This is a smaller taco that I'm used to now. This is my third day in Mexico City. <laughs> Cheers! Mm. Oh. I know I keep saying like, I think every taco is so good, but this is so good. This is so good. I like how it's bite-sized too. Mm. It's got some onions too. These onions are very cute and bulbous. Okay, I really do not usually like onions, but you still taste like it. I see the onion bowl too. Right. I'm gonna eat some depache. It has some pineapple, cinnamon, and orange in here. Good stuff. I like it. Got me a tripe. You need some tripe tacos now. It looks very saucy as well. Yeah. Didn't have to add anything, you just added a little bit of lime. So I just want to say I fell in love with this experience from watching Mark Ween's Mexico City video. Eating tacos. You probably ate from this spot too. Yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow, they all look amazing and they cook from different parts of the animal. Cheers. Mm. Wow. This is delicious. Like a little bit crunchy. It's chewy, really flavorful. I think it's like one of my favorite tacos actually. For sure. I don't know if you can see it, but there's actually like little tribe tendons in there. And there's so much spices in here too. I'm gonna try to savor every little bite. This is it. This is how I imagined it. What's going on? I'm making my own taco now. This is what you're going to do. Okay. I'm gonna cut it. You're gonna do it. <laughs> It's very Come on, do it for the fans. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's gonna go in my eye. <laughs> Let's go. First, I put it on the grill. Now, I take one of this. Use your hands. It's hot. <laughs> you can Come on, chop it. Chop it. Use your hands. Flip the tortilla. Flip it. With your hands. With your hands. I'm really burning. <laughs> you better make me a good taco. Yeah, I'm great. I'm sorry. It's very caliente. Caliente, muy caliente. This working condition is no joke. You. You. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, very good, very good. Okay, fly it, fly it. <laughs> How does she do? Really bad. <laughs> Can I eat the one, Mr. Mate? Yes, I bet this is gonna taste amazing. What kind of taco is this one? Steak. 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 Steak taco. Cheers. I made this. Ten out of ten. It is good. That is steak. Wow. Let me try the one you make. Mmm. I need more salsa. Mm. Every taco is so flavorful, but they're all very different. What a nice guy, too. Yeah. You fish with the hookups. <laughs> hookups? <laughs> Tacos Rey, which is the first taco restaurant that opened in this area. Now there's like five across the street. This is the specialty of the place, the Pastor Dorado. And as you can see, it's faster than McDonald's. Yeah, that was really fast. I should have timed it. My guy said this is not on the menu. It's only for the people that knows it. But this is the special of the restaurant. So if we came by ourselves, we wouldn't have gotten this. Oh, I haven't done enough research on you, bitch. This guy knows everybody. Oh! Oh, I just want to say, phew! Got me worried here. Cheers. These are so cute. Wow, very fried. Nice and crispy. I like the pineapple on it. Really salty, a lot of flavors. You guys gonna pull up the special menu. I like the pineapples a lot. Genius. Oh. Mexican Coke. Oh, I'll be Sorry. craving this. It's so good. We heard that Mexican Coke is like better than Coke because the sugar is different. Is that true? Yeah, in the US they use corn syrup. We use the workers even want to charge this guy. <laughs> insisted on paying. Who is this guy? <laughs> Book a tour with him. 
Is he more than a tour guide? Who is he? You can't take the bottles, they recycle, so Ming has to chug it. Well, there's different paletas. Oh, I love paletas. Um, this is not a taco. Taking a quick break from tacos, so we're getting some ice cream. Mexican ice cream, they build them differently. There's always a lot of flavors, a lot of fruits. So here we have the passion fruit and the yogurt with strawberry, grape, a mango. Yeah, let's bite. Mmm. Mmm. The seeds are in here. This place is great because they got all these taco shops all around. I think once you're all spiced up, you come here for some ice cream. There's a lot to choose from. There's all the fruit flavors, and then there's fruit combinations, then there's the milky flavors. Also, stuff like cotton candy, also mango with like spice in it. Now, there's a grape on the bottom. How funny is that? I love all the fruit flavors. That's my type of popsicle. But this one is really the best. What you get? Lemon. I can't believe it. He's eating. Gracias. Uh, rarely I eat. <laughs> Because it's a very unique church. Basically, a miracle happened here. And this church got really popular. That's why even you can see over there that it has like wow. a huge statue of the Virgin of Guadalupe. I mean, it's it's so fun. impressive parks. It's so whimsical. Wow, I've never seen something like that. Park? So this neighborhood is called the park because of this park. It's like a little mini amusement park. It's so fun. I wish I was a kid. If it's empty, you will be there right now. Yeah, probably. <laughs> This place is called Tortas Se Dose. We're gonna try tortas instead of tacos here. Oh, let's go, let's do it. These ones are called Tortas Gigantes, giant tortas. Even when I'm hungry, I only finish half of them. Okay, so we gotta add some verde salsa. I didn't even try this one. Hopefully it's not too spicy. And then this is roasted jalapeno. All right, let's go. Oh, big sandwich. It's really good. Different than taco for sure. This pickle like jalapeno is really good. I know we ate so much already, so we definitely can't finish this, but this gets you really full. Looks like a chicken cutlet sandwich. Yeah, it does. This is so good. I could eat more. The cutlets are actually thin. I like the ones we used to. This is really thick, hard to bite into. It's also got these melted string cheese intertwined within it. So it's really fun to bite into. <laughs> Of the experience. That's agua fresca. We have to guess what it's made of. It is a fruit, right? It is a fruit. It does taste familiar. What does it start with? Well, in Spanish, you get a G. In English, guava. guava. No. In English, what? With an S. Soy milk? Strawberries? We're not leaving till we get it. I finished this whole thing before I get it. It tastes like a little banana y. Oh man, I don't know. It's called sour sauce. <gasps> Sour stuff is really good. I would have guessed that. One of those like fruits you just get it, squeeze it, and then eat the inside. This is so awesome. I'm gonna refill my sandwich. Believe it or not, I was super full, but I finished that. The legend says that an American girl was in a taco place like this, but she really missed her cheese and flour tortillas. That she bring her own flour tortillas, and then the taquero took this. A Mexican guy saw that and he was like, "Hey, I want what the green guy is having." Oh. We don't know if it's true, but that's the only story that I know. And now we're gonna eat the green guy. Now we're going to eat. That. The amount of lime in this country is amazing. It's like we're giving this much in every meal. I'm not even gonna hide my stomach anymore. I can't. If you're a bodybuilder, you try to gain some weight, book we'll a tour with this guy. Okay, guys, last gringa of the day. We're eating this standing up, and a lot of people are eating this standing up as well because they believe that if you're standing up, the tacos go down faster. Thus, you can eat more tacos. <laughs> is that true? I don't know. I'm standing up right now. They don't eat anymore. It's very juicy and flavorful right off the oven. Ooh, I don't know how these guys freaking cook with their hands. Their fingertips are very thick. Oh, it's so good. We're feeling so full, it wasn't hit your mouth. You're like, oh, yum. It's so freaking good. It is. I'm so gonna regret this after. No, you're gonna go back to New York and be like, ah, I missed those tacos, wish I had finished it. Bro, this must be so bad for you, but it's so freaking good. This is what Ben came to Mexico City for. No kidding. All the street tacos where you're just sitting, not fancy, just shove it in your mouth. Wow. Is it bad if I wear this? Why is it bad? Cultural appropriation. <laughs> Whoa, I hear things differently now. I think this hat just gave me power to eat more. Let's go. It's gotta be one of the proudest moments I have in my life. Power through that taco. Ooh. Oh, I can't even count how many tacos I ate tonight. I'm standing here because you can't see my stomach this way. This guy ate so much more than me, <laughs> actually. Yeah. I'm covering my belly like this right now. <laughs> if you enjoy the experience and want to have the same experience, hit up this guy right here. Hi guys, I'm Ubish. Type Mexican Undergrounds. It's in the description. Mm -hmm. See ya. Alright, check out these two videos if you enjoyed this video. And we'll see you next time. Peace!